just give me 10 who are stout-hearted men. Well, we couldn't find any stout-hearted men. So we have a stout-hearted woman, Leilani Dowding. Leilani, what do you make of all this talk of toxic masculinity? You know, I don't think the word toxic and masculinity should ever be in a sentence together. Masculinity is not toxic at all. And, you know, any negative behavior of a man, they'll say, oh, it's toxic masculinity. Negative behaviors of females, say nagging or cattiness, you know, the stereotypical things, mm. they'll never say it's toxic femininity because the feminists would never allow it. So I think a big problem with our society now is actually the lack of masculinity. Um, I, I was racking my brains aside from you, Mark, to try and find a couple of um, masculine men. Um, I came up with Ron DeSantis in, in Florida, the Florida governor. He's poised, he has purpose, he's confident, and he takes control of the situation. Um, then you have the weak men that are dangerous, like Bill Gates, Hancock, pillow munching, Jeremy Vine, and Justin Trudeau. They mm. catastrophize everything. Everything's a big catastrophe. They need to control people because they can't control the situation that they're in. And you find yourself, you know, that they're trying to control you. Now, when you go out into the into the world away from politics, the men that, that abuse women, they're not masculine providers or protectors or there for security. They're misogynist. It's not toxic masculinity. You can't say a man that abuses a woman has toxic masculinity because masculinity is about protecting uh providing and giving that security to a woman so you know i'm just shocked that boris johnson used the term uh toxic masculinity because as you said i think it's something that the left has used so much to you know diminish yeah. men and emasculate them there was a film uh around about the turn of the century about 20 years ago that mel gibson made uh, I think it was called What Do Women Want? And his whole shtick was that you pretend to be a... You're Mel Gibson, but you pretend to be a sensitive new man type. Uh, and the women are supposedly fascinated by this. I, I don't think there's actually a lot of evidence that what we think of as the so-called new man is in fact attractive to women. I don't think so either. My fiancé is a very alpha male. Um, and a lot of my mm -hmm. female friends are like, Lilani, where can I find this kind of male? You know, a really masculine, good man that, you know, can do things and isn't just there like catastrophizing and, and panicking about the situation. Someone that can say, hey, look, it's all right. I've got this. I can handle it. You know, where, where are these men? Like, uh, maybe it's, you know, the younger generation have been brainwashed. So I don't know, you know, maybe the younger men are like this. Um, and mm. younger girls mm. have been brainwashed to find it attractive. But, you know, all my the friends my age and older are just like, where are all the men? Like, where are all these manly men? Yeah. Well, if you, I think it's because it's sort of bred out in an early age now. Because if you're like a five-year-old boy and you're running around the playground roughhousing with your mates, the teachers all think you've got some kind of psychological problem. And certainly in the United States, they actually medicate them to suppress all that, that kind of thing. And if you go through that system, uh, as I said, it benefits women disproportionately now. Women are all the young lawyers. Women are all the young doctors. And, and men increasingly seem to be left in some sort of thankless nowhere land. Yeah, I think there has been conditioning by society. And, you know, there's a lot of it by feminists who, are, you know, they, they're they offended when a man opens the door, you know. So men, men are left confused. Like, do they, they, you know, the feminists, oh, we can protect ourselves. We can look after ourselves. We don't need men. Um, and so you've got this going on. The men are kind of left in a position where, like, you know, what do I do? What, what do women want? And I think, you know, a lot of women do want the old fashioned guy back, you know, especially now we, we've seen what these, these, these men like Trudeau are like, and we want, you know, a good old fashioned man. <laughs> well, isn't the case though, that uh, for, for men like Justin Trudeau and, and actually also for Boris Johnson, that treating women badly uh, 
it, it, it can can kind of work out for you. You 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 pretend you you talk a good game on being sensitive to women's needs. You're not one of these macho types. You're not going around uh, like uh, like Vladimir Putin. But in fact, you know, both Justin and Boris have left an awful lot of human wreckage in their in their wake. I mean, it's easy to talk about this in theory. How do you treat women in practice? Well, this is it. It's all a lot of talk, isn't it? And what's Justin done for any of us, Justin Trudeau, um, aside from lock us all up and, and, and panic about a situation and start trying to dominate and control people? And like you said, with the rapists, the same situation there. Where are the men protecting the women? It's like they've lost their role in society. Um, and I think, mm. you know, when you ask why is this happening, I think maybe they want to break down the family units, um, or maybe it's just so that there isn't, there aren't men who are going to rise up about against this tyranny that's, you know, coming into play right now. We've got a cost of living crisis. Um, we have we had lockdowns, and maybe they just want to keep men suppressed and silent, so you know, they can get their way. And I, I just think we need to see men take a little more, more control again of the situation. Well, congratulations. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong there. Congratulations on finding yourself an alpha male, Leilani. Uh, they're thin on the ground. They're thin on the ground. Uh, and certainly I don't think there's any market for a lot of that beta male stuff. Uh, terrific, terrific stuff from you as always, Leilani. See you next time. Uh, we'll get to your reaction up next. Uh, if you're a beta male and you like the beta males, and in fact you think we ought to go further and move towards gamma males, then do let me know, uh, gbviews at gbnews.uk.